how did you get into writing and why writing excellent second question especially um i was part of several clubs at nid drichy anyone who doesn't know what about nid drichy the one thing that they should know is it is spoiled with clubs okay there is a club for everything there was a club for free thought it was called the cognito club the free thought group of nid drichy where we would sit around and talk about atheism and morality and interesting. god interesting <laughs> so um i grew up in a suburb and spent 13 years there so i didn't really have a lot of exposure to extracurricular activities so when i got into nid i joined any and every club that interested me i happened to join a few writing clubs it wasn't because i thought i want to be an author someday so let's join this it was just a sense of okay let's let's give it a shot so i joined one fiction club called the fishball network i joined a few other non-fiction writing clubs and so that was a starting that was a spark uh and since then it's taken off in very interesting ways but i used to write fiction a lot in college going from so you mentioned you wrote your first book admitted what's the difference in just writing writing online on a blog versus a post a social media post versus writing a book how does that journey happen and why decide to write a book was there something that sparked that was there something you thought needs to be out there or yeah. what was that journey like excellent question um there is a joke amongst a lot of writers that most books can be a blog post they di- they did not have to be a book because it really the lesson in there is not that profound for it to be a book um so with that caveat i think original ideas rarely come out in social media posts um maybe a really really good blog post i would say so but for me a book is i'm really writing the book for myself before anyone else in a very selfish way yes it is to create some impact yes it is to help people but really it's more of an internal journey that i want to go on for the next year and um it feels like you're possessed by something uh recently i was reading this book Beautiful World Where Are You by Sally Rooney. It's an okay book. I'm not it's not my favorite novel, but there is a f- passage in there where the author talks about how for her, you know, writing this novel, it feels like like God came down, touched her head, possessed her with this idea, and now she cannot let go of it until it is out of her in the form of a book. And there is this sense of like laser-like focus you feel when you're working on a book. I felt this way both for admitted and unshackled. There were a few months for in both those writing journeys when I would wake up, I would have no doubt, not even for a second, why I'm doing what I'm doing today. I know exactly what I need to do and I'm just going to do it. No second guessing, no doubts and that that feeling is uh it's like a high. <laughs> it's a high that you want to keep chasing yeah. because Right now for example in my life I have those questions a lot. I have a lot of doubts around is this the right thing I should be doing? What am I supposed to do next? I'm not very sure. It feels like I'm stuck in this fog. I don't know what to do. But when you're writing a book, when you're especially into the second or third month of it, that feeling is just intoxicating. And so um to answer your question, I I think I write mostly for myself first. once i feel possessed by this idea that i have to do this and secondly i think writing a book versus writing an article um you you get to push your limits a lot more for a book because you have to fill at least 100 pages um and there are people especially if your book has pre-orders you know there's people waiting on the other side to read this at some point and so you've made a promise um the stakes are a lot higher for me at least so I crowdfunded my second book. We raised about fifty thousand dollars, and then I got a grant for another fifty thousand. So I um, I had a lot of accountability through that money, and now I had to do a a decent job because people have put their money and time and effort into this. It's some notion of a fiduciary responsibility at that point that it's also there is some investment I have to return in some capacity, whether exactly. it's in the book or a delivered book or whatever. Exactly. Uh, except uh it's not stressful at least it wasn't for me because it's the opposite of stress that I felt after I raised that money because now I realized 
होली शिट आई गेट टू डू वट आई एक्चुअली लव एंड आई गॉट पेड फॉर इट राइट नाउ देर इज नथिंग मोर आई कुड आस्क फॉर एंड आई रिमेंबर आई वॉज इन ओकलैंड आई वॉज लिविंग इन ओकलैंड हिल्स इन कैलिफोर्निया द फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड मंथ ऑफ वर्किंग ऑन एंड शैकल ब्यूटिफुल प्लेस एंड देर बी मोमेंट्स वन आई वुड लिटरली लाइक आई वी राइटिंग आई वुड लुक आउट द विंडो दे यू नो द फॉल लीव्स एंड आई वुड सिट बैक एंड थिंक हाउ डिड दिस हैपन लाइक हाउ एम आई गेटिंग टू वर्क ऑन दिस बुक विदाउट हैविंग टू वरी अबाउट मनी एंड देर इज एट लीज अ फ्यू हंड्रेड पीपल आउट देर हु वॉन्ट टू रीड दिस yeah it took effort to get to that moment but that moment is what i think a lot of writers chase 